Picasso started with flat sheets of cardboard and probably drew out the shapes that form the guitar. Folding, cutting, bending. He created a guitar. I made templates to scale of the individual components that make up the guitar. And that was actually very useful because it really does help to conceptualize how he moved from this two-dimensional work to something that was three-dimensional and the complex thoughts that were involved with visualizing that. Guitar is made of seven pieces. The back, which starts here and wraps around, includes this profile. The main body of the guitar is this box-like form here and here, and then this is the other side. This is how the guitar goes together. These pieces would fold up, and then that piece is braced in place. This shows you how the box is held together. So there's this thread that's sewn through. It holds this piece. This brace, also made out of cardboard, which holds this piece out and keeps this at a right angle. There's the face, which is this shape, and then a small fold over, which holds it in place. There is the triangular headstock, which is a replacement. There's the small fret, which goes across the neck. There's the neck itself, which is a rectangle of cardboard curved onto itself. And then finally, there's the sound hole, a cardboard rectangle that's been rolled and taped into position. You can see these strings go across, they're knotted on either side of the neck. And then there's this one long piece that kind of snakes through the holes and goes down towards the sound hole. Cardboard was a readily available material that allowed him easily, with just a pair of scissors really, to manipulate and make something that was three-dimensional.